safety uh, defensive positions uh, three kilometers south of the airfield. They were trying to send it to us and we're not receiving it. No, we're not on internet all the time. We have to bring it out and put it on the puck. We're not always on, so we can't just pull them from the server until we...
That's what uh, that's why the OCTs allowed us to move because we told them that we needed to. Be um, don't have a really good feeling yet. I don't know if anybody's put obstacles out yet, but I haven't seen any. And, yeah, just kind of where those are at, how, who's it's so on here, Mark. On here, we'll start up with Deco's blocking position, which is right here. And that's actually that. You see that fence line as it ra that road wraps around right, right in front of us. Yep, that's it's just up there. Leadership from the United States and Philippine Armies meet for an after action review or AAR at the halfway mark of the Joint Pacific Multinational Readiness Center Exportable or JPMRC exercise at Fort McSaisai in the Philippines on June 5th, 2024. After action reviews compare the original intent of an exercise to what actually happened in real time. From there, improvements and sustains are discussed while face to face with representatives from all sections of the exercise. Sir, you can keep things going if you can sustain them. If the fight is going, it doesn't matter how fast you go, but it matters how you can sustain the force. This face-to-face -face interaction at JPMRCX highlights the dedication between the U.S. and the Philippines to not just train together, but learn to effectively work as a team in any scenario. It's to integrate, we have a joint pack and uh, implement the rest of the operations together, our staff working together. Me and Colonel King will be working together, stay together in the same pack. We share values and people-to-people -people ties with the Philippines, which underpins our mutual trust, understanding, respect, interoperability, and common commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. Hi, I'm Brigadier General Gulliver El Sahir, so commander of the 702nd Combined Arms Brigade of the Philippine Army. Uh, we're here now in uh, Jungle Bay of uh, Parangay Karantung, Laul, Nueva Ecija. Doing the JPMRC PH exercise, Salaknib 2, and uh, 702 Cab is working with 3rd BCT with uh, buddy here, Colonel, Colonel King. Hi, my name is Colonel Odisa King, 3rd Brigade Broncos, here in the Philippines at Jungle Base. And one of the most important things that we found out by being here is about our interoperability. We got the opportunity to make it real, make it relevant, and treat this as a person. We've been in this country, we've been part of this for a very long time. And seeing what our soldiers have been able to do here, it's been challenging. Yeah. <laughs> it's been hot. Correct. But this is an environment that we're going to have to work in and be in. So this is something that's important. We work together as we move forward for a free and open Indo-Pacific.